Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Achari's Kindergarten Cabin. Today's math lesson is going to be another day of exploring subtraction. So we are going to be learning about how we can draw a picture to solve a subtraction story, okay? So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be telling you some stories about butterflies. And at home, what I would like for you to be doing is drawing a picture to show what the subtraction sentence or what the subtraction problem would look like, okay? So basically what you're going to be doing is solving the problem that I give you using a drawing. Okay, so what you're going to need today is something to write on, a piece of paper, a whiteboard, whatever you would like to do. Um, and at the end, if you wanna send me a picture of the work that you did, I would love to see it, okay? So I'm going to tell you a subtraction story and I'm going to show you one um, example of how to do this, okay? So let's say there are four butterflies flying in the yard, okay? And take these ones down for now so we aren't confused. So there's four butterflies flying in the yard. So I'm going to draw my picture. Here's my four butterflies. So there's four butterflies flying in the yard and two of the butterflies fly away. How many butterflies are left? What would you do to your picture to show that two butterflies flew away? You are exactly right. You will cross out two to show that two butterflies flew away. So today's lesson is focused just on you drawing a picture to show the story problem that I'm saying, telling you, okay? So let's get going. We're gonna do five story problems and you are going to draw a picture to go with each one, all right? So here we go. Let me erase this so that we're not confused. Okay, so let's start with five butterflies. There are five butterflies flying in the yard. Your job right now is to draw your five butterflies. Okay, you can remember math drawings are supposed to be simple. So draw your picture, okay, of your butterflies. It can be circles, whatever you wanna use, just so that you know you have five of them, okay? And then now on your drawing, I want you to show what would happen if two of the butterflies flew away? So how are you going to show that on your drawing? And then how many butterflies are left? Okay, so how are you going to show five butterflies take away two butterflies and how many are left? I'll let you do that work while I plan my next story. All right, so I hope that you got your first one done. The next one, there are five butterflies again, okay? So, same thing, draw your picture of your five butterflies. And three of the butterflies decide they want to go somewhere else, so they fly away. How many butterflies are left? Show me with your story, I mean with your picture, I'm sorry. So show me with your drawing, how many butterflies are left? We had five, three flew away. Show me with your drawing, what would that look like? All right, let's try another one, okay? So now we have, let's start with, okay, so there's three butterflies flying in the yard. And guess what happens? Three of them fly away. So three, you should draw your three first. That's how many are in the yard. So show me what, how many are left if three fly away. One, two, three fly away, so how many are left? Show me with your drawing. All 
right, another one. Gosh, you guys are doing some good work here. Let's do, ooh, let's have a yard with six butterflies flying, okay? So there's six butterflies flying in the yard, all right? And four of the butterflies fly away. So there are six butterflies, four fly away. Show me on your picture how many are left. There are six butterflies, so you're gonna draw your six, and four fly away. How many butterflies are left? All right, good work. Last one, we're gonna do another one with six. So start with six butterflies again, okay? Okay, so there's your six butterflies. You know what happens this time? Only one butterfly flies away. So the rest of them want to stay in that yard. So this butterfly flies away, how many are left? So in your picture, you started with six, one flew away, how many are left? Okay, well, I look forward to seeing a picture of all of the subtraction drawings that you did today. Um, I'm interested to see how you guys decided to draw your butterflies and show that two or one or four flew away. Have an awesome day.